Well, hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. Uh, I just stumbled across this Revolution Radio uh, fan page, I guess you call it, on Facebook. And uh, it stirred me to talk about why I left Freedom Slips. Because uh, I'm quite pissed off right now, although I'm not ranting. Uh, I want everybody to know why I left there as a host, because I didn't talk about this. Uh, I didn't want to get caught up in the slander game and the drama that is part of the environment at Revolution Radio, freedomslips.com. But while I was there, uh, donors were made to believe that station costs were around $2,000 a month. And month after month, I saw people giving out of the very little they had, sometimes in fear that the station was going to be closed down if they didn't raise that much money. And I had even went to bat for the station to say, you know, I've seen the bills. For a short time, I lived in the owner's home. So I saw the money he was putting out. I saw the money he was taking in, and I knew that he wasn't keeping any of it for himself. But not being technologically wise, what I didn't know at first was that the $2,000 a month bill was because there were servers setting their idol while Mike Ringley, the owner of freedomslips.com, geared up to put a full network of smaller radio stations online to sell to people. So the, the donations were going to build him a business, but yet none of the donors were ever told this. And quite honestly, it, it really bothered me because a couple people that really believed in me, once they found out, thought that I was part of that deception, and, and I was not. Um, and I worked very hard for that network to bring new hosts, uh, to keep 24-hour radio going from, you know, just eight hours a day to 24 hours a day. Worked very hard, but I won't be part of that deception. Now I come over here to Facebook. Blatant click fraud, which I'm not going to report them to Google because they're birds of a feather and they'll flock together. They're both scamming assholes. Google's ripping fucking people off and Mike Ringley's been doing it since he got on air. Uh, but anyway, right here, listen to your favorite host for free on YouTube channel. Be sure to listen to the ads. Listening to the ads helps contribute to the station without a donation. Click fraud. Blatant click fraud. This is the integrity of freedomslips.com. This is exactly why I left there, and I would never so much as listen to a show. I'm sorry for the hosts that are there, because I know a few of them, interacted with a few of them, and they've got some good hosts that cover some good topics. I'm going to encourage them all to reach out to UCY.TV, a network that doesn't even take donations. Um, very, very credible. Can't say enough about Jules and all the rest of the hosts there. Uh, in the credibility of the network. But for freedomslips.com, it's a deception, folks. Rob, steal, lie, and cheat. And if that's the type of news source you want to get your news from, well, just fucking turn on CNN. What can I say? Anyway, it's been a well over a year, uh, almost two, actually, since I left freedomslips.com. So I thought I'd touch this subject now because I'm still pissed off that my name was infringed because of the deception through the donations. Uh, and this was the straw. So anyway, that's what freedomslips.com is all about. Click fraud at its best. Much love, many thanks, and I'll see you soon. Oh, and by the way, Mike Ringley, I told you to expect me. <laughs>